According to some polls, fans would rather Power Rangers have a reboot and not keep adapting Sentai. The question is, does Hasbro really want to keep investing money in Power Ranger? Are they going to treat Power Ranger with respect? We are going to try to decipher these questions in this video and you are going to write your opinion in the comments after watching the video. The first thing to understand is that the companies don't see Power Rangers the way the fans see it because for Hasbro, Disney, and all the other companies that have worked with the franchise, they see Power Rangers as a product that must generate profits. This means that they can't fall in love with the product and if it doesn't make a profit, then they must find some solution. On many occasions the last solution is to sell the product and this is why during these 30 years Power Rangers has had several owners. This has nothing to do with Power Rangers, all products are treated the same, although we must accept that each product has different promises. There are projects that may have a better future than others and this is why they do not give the same importance to all products. This is because every product is different and sometimes there is simply nothing that can be done to improve it. Despite this, before selling any product, companies try many different possible solutions to the problems that any project has, but if all this does not work, then they sell the product. It doesn't always mean that the product doesn't work anymore, sometimes it simply means that the company didn't know how to handle the project and they just let it rot. You can give a tomato to an ordinary person, and he will just eat it with a little salt, but if you give the same tomato to a chef, then he will make many recipes. Products can grow in the right hands, but sometimes you also have to accept the end of things. Power Rangers has been on TV for 30 years and while I think they can still create something awesome with the franchise by making some changes, maybe some people think they should just let the franchise die already. In my opinion, I think Hasbro doesn't want to bury the franchise as ever since they bought it, their idea was to give it a new life and to achieve this you have to destroy everything. Sometimes it is very difficult to see how they destroy what you have loved so much for a long time. But in order to have a new way, you have to destroy the old way. This is why to start the reboot they had to stop the series we have known all our lives and for this they have had to make some changes as well. Recently, we learned that Hasbro has allowed another company to be the one to manufacture most of the Power Rangers products and this has been alarming for many people, but the reality is that this may be a strategy. Obviously, we also have to look at the other options as it may also be that they no longer want to be in the business of creating Power Rangers products because they have not generated the profits they had hoped for. Hasbro recently released a statement saying that they didn't make the profits they expected from Power Rangers and that they don't want to get rid of the franchise. That's why I started this video by saying that companies can't fall in love with products and that they are going to base it on profits. If I buy something to generate revenue and that product didn't generate the profits I wanted, then I should do something else with that product. In this case, Hasbro perhaps decided to have the other company manufacture the Power Rangers products so that they are the ones investing in the manufacturing and so Hasbro continues to make a profit without having to invest anything. They must understand that frees up a lot of money since they don't have those manufacturing expenses and maybe they want that money so they can invest it in the reboot. You have to remember that what the company wants to do with the reboot involves a lot of money since previously Power Rangers didn't have as much production overhead as an adult project can have. The special effects, the costumes, the filming, the actors, absolutely everything involves a bigger expense in a project aimed at an adult audience. The best example of this is the costumes as Power Rangers has always used a fairly inexpensive and easy to make material, but this type of material they can no longer use if they want to create a darker production. 
In the 2017 movie they had to invest a lot of money in the costumes of the rangers because even though many times we have said that these costumes are not suitable for power rangers, the reality is that they are still spectacular costumes for any superhero. In many of the scenes the costumes are created with CGI and obviously this is a big investment of money. Add to this the zords, weapons, explosions, and many other special effects that are going to be enhanced. We know Hasbro is a giant company that has a lot of money, but we must understand that each franchise has a budget. Let's explain it this way, imagine Hasbro has $100 and they have 10 different franchises. They decide to give $10 to each franchise and with those $10 is that they must create everything in each of those franchises so that they all have the same opportunity. Obviously, all this is not like that since there are always more important franchises than others, but we are going to use this only to explain this example. So, imagine that Power Rangers was using $5 to create all the products and now they only have $5 left to create the TV series. The move Hasbro has made is that they are allowing another company to create the Power Rangers products, and this means that now the franchise is not going to have to invest that $5 to create the products. Now Power Rangers is going to have $10 to be able to create the new TV series and this is why they can create something better. This is just a theory with a simple example to maybe understand a little bit of Hasbro's moves, but we must know that these companies are giants, and everything is very complex in there. The other question is will Hasbro treat Power Rangers with respect? The reality is that many think Hasbro has not treated Power Rangers with respect because of all the mistakes they have made with the franchise. One of these mistakes is that they didn't make Cosmic Fury action figures and wasted a great opportunity to be able to sell since those costumes are original Power Rangers and not Sentai. This would have meant a lot to collectors, but maybe not something that will ensure you make a lot of sales. Another mistake is that they didn't complete the collections as happened with the Mighty Morphin helmets and weapons. Besides this, the quality of the products was not very good, and we could notice this in the terrible design of the Cosmic Fury Toy Morpher. Mistakes like these are what make fans think that Hasbro has not respected the franchise, but the reality is that we must think from another perspective. When Hasbro bought the franchise, they did it with the vision of making the reboot because they know that Power Rangers has the potential to be bigger. This to me is already starting to respect the franchise as you see it with potential and not with contempt. The other point is that Dino Fury and Cosmic Fury were not supposed to exist, but because the reboot has taken longer than expected, they had to create those seasons. This means that maybe they haven't given it the same love they would give any season because it was temporary and maybe they didn't want to invest a lot of money in it. I think the best way to judge Hasbro as owners of the franchise is going to be when the reboot begins since that was their vision from the beginning and that's when we'll see if they actually respect Power Rangers. If you want to keep seeing this kind of information like this video and subscribe to continue respecting Power Rangers.